and welcome to day two of Beyond the Trailer's coverage of Marvel's The Avengers Phase 2. Yesterday was all about Iron Man 3, while today Thor 2 is front and center, which is set to hit theaters next year in November? Looks like Disney wants you to enjoy your Thanksgiving feast as Guardian style. Oh, but wait a minute. Thor 2 comes out two whole weeks before Thanksgiving. Understandably, it doesn't want to come out against The Hunger Games 2 Catching Fire on the 22nd, but surely it can take Frozen on Thanksgiving weekend. Ah, but Frozen is also a Disney movie, and it looks like the studio has given their animated fairy tale the choice date. Like Thor and Loki, it appears Disney Sun has some tough choices to make over which child to favor. But truth be told, Disney had wanted to open Thor in July, which makes a lot more sense. It had to push the film back when Game of Thrones director Brian Kirk walked away due to creative and financial disagreements with Marvel. Walked away from Thor 2? I know, it sounds crazy, but apparently Marvel is tough to get along with, as several months later Kirk's replacement Patty Jenkins also walked away from the picture over creative differences. So Marvel circled back to Game of Thrones and got another one of the show's directors, Alan Taylor, to sign on which is excellent, because the Game of Thrones connection can only help Thor 2. And Thor 2 will be a lot like Game of Thrones, with Thor traveling the Nine Realms, where chaos has erupted since the destruction of the Bifrost, which is the cool word for Rainbow Bridge. It makes sense to keep Thor off Earth, though, as now with the Avengers it would be hard to explain his lack of co-stars. Although, if you want to see just how good a Thor, Iron Man, and Cap adventure in the Nine Realms would be, pick up the Avengers Prime trade. But that doesn't mean you won't see plenty of familiar faces in Thor 2. Natalie Portman and Tom Hiddleston are both set to return, along with all your favorite Asgardians, save for one glaring exception, Anthony Hopkins. Although, if Hopkins' track record proves anything, it's that he can be bought. And while well, you can't really have Thor 2 without Odin. What about Brana, who did such a fantastic job launching the franchise? Well, he claims to have been thrown off by the speed in which Marvel wanted to produce the sequel. But I think Brana likes to be in front of the camera as much as behind it, and Thor 2 would tilt the scales a little too far in one direction. But you can also expect new cast members for Thor 2, including a brand new villain. Who will it be? The Enchantress? Hela? Hmm, Thor fights a lot of women. He also dates a lot of women, too, which begs the question of just how much like Game of Thrones the sequel could get. So how important do you think Thor is to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Marvel Studios? It outgrossed Captain America by about 100 million, yet still finds itself in Iron Man's exhaust fumes. I personally preferred Thor to Captain America and feel the character has tremendous potential, yet I also enjoy Game of Thrones. Write your thoughts down below and be sure to tune in to all of Beyond the Trailer's comic book movie coverage, as well as the coverage on my comic book channel Think About the Ink, right now.